Hi and welcome students. In this video, I'll be describing a worksheet in Microsoft Excel 2016. Some of my students have just begun working in Excel and I want to show them around the program and show them the different tabs, buttons, and groups that you're going to see in Excel as well as how to navigate the spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you'll see in Excel is that up at the top you'll see the quick access toolbar on the left. This is where you can quickly save the document and undo and redo changes. Along the top middle, you'll see the name of the spreadsheet, and along the right, you'll see your login information as well as minimize, maximize, and close. All right, just below that, you'll see similarities between Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel, like the File tab. And inside the File tab, you can open up new spreadsheets, open up existing spreadsheets, save your document uh, to different locations, print your document, share, export to a PDF, publish your document, and close Excel as well as set up custom options and account information. All right, so that's all within the uh, file tab. Now in the home tab, you'll see here, this contains a lot of information that you saw in Microsoft Word, like the clipboard group. It still contains cut, copy, and format painter, as well as your font options right here. Now, the next thing that you'll notice from Word is the next one was called paragraph in this group. In this one, it's called alignment. That's because in Excel, it deals with cells, which I'll go over in just a little bit. Then you'll see some different and uh, new uh, groups like cells and editing and some that you've seen before like styles. So that's in the home tab. Inside of the insert tab you can insert tables, illustrations, add-ins, charts, tours, sparklines, filters, links, text, and symbols. So all of that can be put into the insert tab. The page layout tab contains all your page setup and print options. Uh, it also contains your themes. Beyond that you have formulas which are very popular in Excel and uh, a main function of what Excel can do. And then you'll see the data tab, review tab, and view tab. I'm not going to go over all these buttons. I'd rather go over how to actually use the program and what you're going to see. But just know that the setup is the same in Excel as other Office applications with the ribbon up at the top, which contains your tabs, your groups, and your actual buttons themselves. Below the ribbon, you'll see right here, this is called the name box. And this is where you could actually click on it and you can name different ranges as well as uh, click on different cells and choose different cells from in here. In the formula bar, which is right here, you can name formulas from your cells. And I'll go over what that means in just a little bit. Now, right below the formula bar is where Excel starts to look a lot different from any other application in Microsoft Office. Excel is a spreadsheet application and it can be used for different things like calculations, analyzing data, creating charts, uh, graphs, things of that nature. So what Excel does really well is it puts these into a visual nature. So the first thing that you'll see here is that it says A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. Now a lot of people think that it ends at Z, but it doesn't actually end at Z. It actually goes all the way past Z and goes to A, 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 B, A, C, all the way down to X, F, D. So the chances of you running out of columns is very, very low. Now you'll notice I use the word columns. Each one of these letters signifies or represents a column. So if anyone ever says click on column E, you just click right there and it will select column E from the very top all the way to the very bottom. Now you'll say, well, the very top is signified with a one, okay? And anything going horizontal, this is called a row. So you'll see right here, I have row one, row two, row three, so on and so forth. Now, how far does this go down? This goes down all the way to row number 1,048,576. So the chances of you running out of a row, very, very small. So we're gonna head back up here to the top and we see up here at the top, this is cell A1, okay? So cell A1 is always in cell A or row or column A and row one. You can click on any cell to navigate within it. So all you have to do is click and uh, it will go on to make that the active cell. And then you can also move around the cells with your arrow keys on your keyboard. Beyond that, you can select what's called a range. A range is two or more cells being selected. So let's say I wanted to select cell A3, B3, C3 and D3, I can click and drag from cell A3 all the way to cell D3 to select all of those. And that's called, again, a range, 
All right. So you'll notice that Excel uses numbers a lot. You can do things like calculate totals and eventually uh, calculate things like your total revenue, total expenses, and total profit. Now I'm not going to go over all these calculations because I cover them in my other videos. So make sure to check out my Excel playlist in order to figure out how to do those things. But I do want to cover what Excel actually does. So after you calculate these totals here, what you can do in Excel is you can chart the data. It's a very visual program. Uh, you'll notice that a lot of people use Excel to eventually print it out or put it onto a PDF or even copy and paste charts and graphs to Microsoft Word. So if I wanted to create a chart, I could actually create a chart and you can see I've created a chart right here. And this shows all of my revenue for the different brands. Branches. We have North Miami, South Miami, East Miami, and West Miami. So you can create, this is what's called a uh, bar chart right here, or yeah, clustered, uh, I believe this one's clustered bar. And so right there you can create a chart, and you could also create things like pie charts, which are uh, shown right here. So again, I have videos on how to do these things, and uh, how to complete them, and eventually how to print them out, and even export them to PDF or something else. So that's how uh, the basic overview of Excel looks. It's a spreadsheet program, very visual program, uh, great at calculations, great at putting in formulas and functions. So I hope that this video has encouraged you to check out maybe a couple other videos that I might have on Excel. And if you have any questions or video requests, put it in the comment section below and I'll make sure to uh, get back to you on that. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.